that was my first film with Mr. Rick. He called me in, he said, well, Jimmy, we're finally getting together. He says, but this film, he says, down in Texas, he said, I don't know whether you'll be very happy. He said, it's just blank skies and strips of land and nothing much to photograph. He said, by the way, do you think we could double print clouds in the sky? I said, sure. So for a whole week, we looked at cloud stock stuff. I said, what kind of cloud? You got sunset, shadow clouds, streamy clouds. And I said, so what kind do you want, Marty? He said, I can't tell until I look at them. So for a week, we looked at cloud. <laughs> and he said, well, let's go down to look at the location. So I knew the script. I said, Marty, look, you're crazy to try to put clouds in. He said, why? I said, I would shoot up with just nothing but blank sky. And if there were a cloud in there, I would put a, maybe a light blue filter in it and make the blue go white and the clouds wouldn't show. Wash it out, because it's a black and white film. I said, I'd make it as desolate as I could and keep that space, because that shows you his next neighbor is about 10 miles away. That shows you how much land he's got to graze his cattle. And that's why Paul Newman wants to get the devil out of there. So these are the kind of things that I think is very important for us in films, whether you're a director or whether you're a cameraman, to say, look, what am I trying to stay here? You've got to learn to see, learn to see, learn to feel light. Because I think light is the most important thing in photography. Without it, you just don't do anything. And you feel the quality of light, the texture of light whether it's early morning, afternoon, or mid sun You've got to understand all this to make your pictures speak out to what you feel, what you want to say. Mm -hmm.